is guitar butts any good? Should you use it to learn the guitar? And more importantly, should you pay for the premium features? Well, overall, I think yes, guitar bots is a great learning tool and it does succeed in applying some gamified mechanics to making learning the guitar a little bit more fun. But overall, I don't think that the premium features are actually worth it. And this video is going to explain why. I've done several other reviews of educational software, including my review of Rocksmith, Duolingo, Memrise, and so on. So I'm going to dive into a little bit of my viewpoints about how video games can be used to, in order to improve learning. So taking a look at the GuitarBots interface here, we have a guitarist level, uh, level 14. Uh, we have time that I've played overall, nearly 10 hours, chords played, and more importantly, we can see uh, a comparison of where I'm at next to another friend of mine who happens to also use the game. So overall, a pretty standard sort of gamified interface here. We have badges, achievements, levels, all that sort of stuff. Uh, kind of what you expect from any sort of gamified mechanics in any tool these days. I wouldn't say it's particularly good or particularly bad. Um, having my friend in here did definitely spruce up, spruce it up a little bit. I did want to, you know, kind of outdo him occasionally. But, um, you know, it, it really only starts to become powerful once you've got different um, people to compare yourself with and so on. Now, I haven't actually used guitar bots in quite some time now. I've been using Rocksmith almost exclusively. And I also haven't touched my acoustic in a little while. So I'm very, very rusty at both. So most of this uh, 10 hours you see spent was spent quite some time ago. I am on the, uh, the free lesson or the free plan right now with guitar bots. So I can only play a certain amount per day, but that's okay. Uh, it's sufficient for this review. We can see down here there's tutorials and some guitar teacher stuff on guitar bots, but actually that's perhaps my biggest complaint is that these lessons are not quite sufficient. They're very disjoint from the rest of the product. Um, they, they're not entirely connected with everything else that's going on and there's no inspiration to actually uh, go click on these and use them. Uh, they feel like a completely separate aspect. Now, that's something that I think is actually uh, kind of fixed in the newer products. GuitarBots has recently rebranded as a musician, and I'll do a separate review of that. But keeping focused on GuitarBots for now, we can see that there is a kind of song interface here. It's played in the web browser. You can also play it on a mobile device. I've used it on my iPad before, and I actually really like that. That's something that Rocksmith really lacks, is the mobile interface. So I'm going to go ahead and play just a little bit here so you can see what it looks like. And now it's getting dark, so I wish upon a star that I could play this guitar. So obviously I'm pretty rusty with the acoustic, with using this application in general, but you get the sense. It's telling me exactly how um, to press each fret, and overall I really like this interface. The multiplier in the upper left uh, rewards me for keeping streaks going. The, um, the little dashed lines tell me when I'm a little bit off on my timing. It's, it can be a little bit much to try to pay attention to all of it at once. Uh, there's color coding going on in terms of what fingers to use. All of this is really useful information, though ultimately um, it's, it is hard to keep all of it in mind at once. I wish there were a way that it could kind of um, enforce the fingering and things like that more strictly. But uh, of course, I don't think that's really possible. So that being said, it, it does a very good job at what it does. Also, you'll notice my acoustic guitar is not plugged into the computer, which is great. The game is actually picking up the notes and doing a rather good job of it, though it definitely does seem to miss some at times. And the more complicated and um, kind of uh, intricate the patterns get, I think the worse a job it seems to do. Again, comparing it to Rocksmith, which I did another review on, this... Um, it doesn't have, seem to have as much fidelity because Rocksmith is using a cable directly from the guitar, 
to the computer, it can pick out each individual note and sound a little bit better. Whereas just using the microphone, while impressive on a technological level, is just bound to be less accurate. But that being said, it does a great job. And as a free application, I think it's quite good. Now, some of the main downfalls, the music, as you just heard, is not really any song you may have heard before. They're kind of made up songs, which, you know, it, it's not bad, but I think a lot of the inspiration of playing the guitar comes from playing music that you're interested in, that you've heard before, things like that. So unfortunately, it, it is, in my mind, just not quite as motivating. It feels a little bit more like a chore as opposed to playing something that uh, is exciting and um, you know, stuff that I would want to show my friends. Like, I'm not going to show my friends this song that I've learned from GuitarBots. It's worth mentioning, of course, that GuitarBots also does allow you to upload some of your own tabs and things like that. Um, the, the accompaniment, all of the other music that goes into it feels a little bit synthesized. It feels a little bit uh, just not, it's not as immersive as feeling like you're playing in a band or feeling like you're playing with other instruments. So as a tool for practicing, for working on um, you know, just different exercises, it's useful. I think it's a great supplement, but it ultimately, um, there's not a whole lot there beyond just their lessons. And I would like to see more education in the game itself. It does a little bit too much of just kind of throwing you into a song and, uh, you know, give you some chord diagrams, for example. But it doesn't do a whole lot in terms of enforcing that you learn scales or that you uh, learn proper techniques for hammer-ons and pull-offs and, and things like that that should really go into any good guitar education. So I think it's kind of a fun way to divert yourself if you're already playing the guitar or learning it in a more formal or structured way, but definitely not something that should be used in entirely just to learn the guitar by itself. And finally, with regards to the premium package, it seems that the only real benefit to the premium package is removing the time constraint. I mean, that's the, the main benefit of it, that you, with the free package you can only play a certain amount each day. And it is a subscription model too. So both of those things together just doesn't feel that valuable to me. It, by again, comparing it to Rocksmith, which is a one-time payment of $60 or so, with guitar bots you're paying every month and within a year you've far outstripped the amount of money you've spent on Rocksmith. So for that reason, it just doesn't quite seem like as good a value. But all that said, it's still, as a free application, a great way to just play around and help you learn the guitar a little bit. Hope you found this review interesting. If you did, head on over to lifebyexperimentation.com. You'll find a lot of other reviews, uh, including more details about both guitar bots and musician and rocksmith. And more importantly, you'll find a lot of tips on how to practice better, how to structure a good practice schedule, how frequently to practice, and all of those sorts of things that will help you develop new skills faster. Thanks and have a nice day.